Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Six, Senior Product Manager at Tom Sawyer Software, and today we're talking about integrating with Neo4j databases. We're going to see how easy it is to connect with Neo4j databases and perspectives and see our first results quickly with no need to code in Java. First, we're going to start with an empty project. First, we will add a module. Then let's take a look at the schema and notice how it's empty. Next, we're going to add an integrator. We'll select Neo4j. And now we need to put in the connection information. We'll test the data source to be sure that we can connect. And now we will extract the schema. We can see that six new elements were added. Let's go take a look. Now you see that the schema is populated. This was done automatically by the schema extraction. Next, let's bring data into our model. So we're going to go over to the bindings tab and we're going to add a query. We're going to enter a cipher query and hit refresh. Now we see a preview of the data. Next, let's add a drawing view so we can see a picture of the data that we just brought into our model. So we're going to go to view, add view, then drawing, and we're going to bring in all the vertices and edges. Then we're going to add nodes to our drawings as well as edges. So there's the nodes. Now we'll bring in the edges as well. Now let's go see a web preview. And there's the data from the Neo4j graph database. Okay, let's do a little bit more with this. Let's go to the drawing template and the default node template and update the name that's showing. So we're going to come over here and we're going to select name. We'll press OK. And now the name is going to show in our node. But as you see, the node's still a little too small here. So we're going to go and change the resizability. And now the name is going to fit inside the node. Let's go back to Web Preview. And there are the nodes with the names. OK, now let's bring in more data. We're going to go back to our integrator definition, and we're going to add one more character to our Cypher query. We're going to do a refresh. There's a preview of the data coming in from the database. Let's go back to Web Preview. And now we see a larger graph. Let's zoom in. There are those node names we added earlier. And while we're here, let's see the different layouts. Bundle. Circular, Hierarchical, Orthogonal, and Symmetric. Today we showed how to start with an empty project, 
connect to a Neo4j database, and see first results quickly. Thanks for joining us. Contact Tom Sawyer Software today to start your free trial of Tom Sawyer Perspectives.